you get too I old. I haven't been a loser. You get ever. too old to be cool, and you're like, damn, I was cool. I was. I was cool. <laughs> Dude, shut the fuck up, Nick. During COVID, you got into manga and anime <laughs> at 35. Uh, Dude. And it's and, and, awesome. Yeah, dude. that shit would be cool. I wish I could. I wish I had the attention span. I wish I had the intellectual capacity to understand Attack on Titan. No, that one's kind of fucking boring. The same shit. My roommate showed me that shit. It kept the same shit kept happening. So, this girl made, and then this girl made me ahead. watch. This girl made me watch it. She mm -hmm. was like, she was like, if if you don't if you don't like this, then like there's like there like this shit ain't happen. That's a deal breaker. Wow. So That's she hysterical. made me, she made me watch it. And then we watch it, and it's about like, okay, there's this gay ass little village, uh, <laughs> yeah, and they yeah, exactly. they're cut off from the world because they're surrounded by giants, and right. the little boy wants to be a soldier, and then the giants breach the wall and kill his whole family, right? You know, and it's like if that is not the most like boring, you know, like listen, just, I'll here's the thing. Did she Absolutely, suck? It's generic. It's generic. But it's generic. I'm down for that. I'm down for a nice. Listen, we talked about this. Actually, we will talk about this on Sunday's episode. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I like it. I love revenge. Revenge is one of my favorite fucking genres. Yeah, that's sure. fine. Yeah. Let him become. But you're right. It is like the the go to. Yeah, but, it's just there's no real emotional depth to that. I mean, it's like it's oh, your mom got killed by giants, and now you got. And I'm sure the giants mean something. Right, but, right, right. There must be some metaphor, or whatever the but fuck. But at the surface level, you don't you don't respect me enough as a viewer of your shit to not like serve me some like you know sentimental garbage, you know. And, and here's the other thing: I watched a bunch of that show. It just takes too long. Like it's like one whole season before they fight a fucking giant. And you don't. And like, you, they train. And the giants fucking, are fucking a, a year like nude, and you don't see their penis. You don't see their pussies. You they don't see their penis. Face. You don't want to fuck the giants. They're not like mm -hmm. sexy big giantesses. They're right. like, they got weird fucked up like smiles and the, shit. The only anime I ever liked was the Cool Devices series. What's that? What's that? They're different. Like it's a, it's a, I think they're unrelated, but each one like there's like the only overlapping theme is that a woman is raped by, you know, like a, like some kind of like monster. <laughs> a blender. Yeah. A a blend blender oh, like a steampunk rape. Yeah. Or like a, it's, those are the cool devices. A, temp a tentacle. <laughs> yeah. Like a tentacle raping sort of machine. <laughs> a printer rapes her. Yeah. Right. A, a lamp rapes. It's like now all that, these cool devices. That it's like, obviously, okay, that takes, that takes the revenge thing to a much further level mm -hmm. you can't relate to being raped by a toaster that's also an octopus yeah <laughs> cool Dragon devices yeah cool devices is a series of hentai pornographic videos released as <laughs> as ova uh the series consists of 11 mainly unrelated episodes referred to as operations and is most mm. noted for its very extreme sexual content most of which centers <laughs> on bdsm and similar fetish themes wow as well as its high production values <laughs> my i told you guys a story about how my mom because we love Dragon Ball Z, obviously, and my mom wanted to be cool and bought my brother like rented from the library because that's where we got all our fucking. This is a this is a poor life hack. Everyone knows about this, I, I would hope, mm -hmm. where you can get free movies from the library, public library. Yeah. You don't have to go to Blockbuster. Anyway, my mom would always get us movies and shit, and she picked up my brother. What she thought, like we watched Dragon Ball Z, and then we also watched that. I don't know if you guys know Ronin Warriors. That one was sick. And then she just got him. Just it looked like you know, just some, uh, just looked like anime or whatever. And it was straight up fucking. I don't even know why they had it in the library. It was straight up hentai. And my brother's like fucking nine years. They old. They had that at the thinking, library. Yes, dude. And my brother's really? like nine or ten, and he thought he was just gonna watch like you know some cool fucking, you know, guy with superpowers or whatever. And it's literally like a guy fucking like it's, it's not quite beautiful machines or whatever the fuck yours is, yeah. but it's, it's, it was like a guy fucking some like yeah. young and it's always like, it's almost always child porn. Just, yeah. yeah so it's this, like, is, this is, this is, this is the sample cool devices episode. This is the kind of anime I'm into operation eight slave warrior. Maya one. <laughs> <laughs> the first of a two episode story arc and based on from a manga series of the same name this, so it has a literary underpinning mm -hmm. this episode begins the story of Maya Misutani an average Japanese college student who is transported to an alternate dimension and inadvertently mm -hmm. fulfills a prophecy 
Maya is transported to another world where she meets two lizard-like creatures who use trickery to convince her to take off all of her clothes. <laughs> Wait, what's it called? Devices? So cool Devices Operation 8 Slave Warrior Maya. Okay, I'm just going to do a little research myself. Yeah. She says she, the lizards trick her into taking off her clothes, and she's sold into slavery to Lord Est- Estelagar and is used mm. in experiments to turn her into a sex slave. She escapes and evades recapture by using a hidden power within herself to slaughter her opponents. This wow. display of power gets the attention of two warring human and alien factions. Mar- Mar- Maya is recaptured, subjected to more sexual experiments. <laughs> Damn, they got my bitch Maya back in the zone, and then in is, the fuck palace. And then she's transformed <laughs> into a hermaphrodite. No, they give her a cock? She's trained into a hermaphrodite, and then she's transferred transferred into a dominatrix, or she's transferred to a dominatrix, who is given instructions to break her will and turn her into a sex slave. Keep in mind, she's been now three different iterations of sex slaves. Dude, I'm looking. I'm watching this actually on um, on, Hentai, Hulu. on Hulu. H a h h a. I'm sorry. H a h o. You know how Netflix their like stock price drop like sixty percent overnight. Mm-hmm. What if they're like we're get we're getting rid of password sharing and also we're putting oh. the cool devices series on the main page. They gotta <laughs> put a hentai. Okay, we're, getting, we're going full uh, hentai. Dude, she's getting her fucking pussy popped by some guy with iron hands right now. Yeah, in captivity, Maya meets another slave, Lena, who is not used for sex. And then in parentheses, until the end of the episode. Nice. (laughs) (laughs) Damn, honestly, this bitch is kind of good. She's kind of hot, honestly. I'm looking, I'm watching this. A robot's got pussy juice all over his head. I love this. Yeah, so it's a robot that's finger popping her, checking her out. Yeah. And she's being raped and she's so wet. (laughs) In this this manga where it's like, she's dripping. because (laughs) She's like, stop, but her pussy loves it. They escape, but they are quickly caught. Lena is punished through sexual intercourse. Meanwhile, the dominatrix implants a parasitic alien mass into Maya's uterus through her mechanically stretched vagina to lower her inhibitions <laughs> and forces her to copulate with Lena. Dude, they got her. They got her hooked up. There's a there's a tube in her pussy, and the little yeah. lizards are like, "Hey, my bad. We you we just saw that you were a nice piece of pussy pie, and we know we could get a." Uh, a nice. They're just like our bad. You were just going to be expensive, and mm-hmm. now they're now they're tugging on the on the metal that's in her pussy right now. Yeah. They're just hanging out. They're not even sexually doing it. They're just like, oh, this is kind of nice. Yeah. This is a nice machine. <laughs> Are you trying not to come right now, Sav? You know, I'm really not that aroused by this. I also did beat off this morning, maybe three hours ago. As soon as I woke, I was very horny this morning, so I did jack off. I was a. Uh, I had a very specific, vivid. Uh, memory of two different girls I fucked and I was like you know what this is cool my brain has kind of made this a mashup mm-hmm. I'm just gonna go au natural I'm just gonna beat off did you did you text them to ask their permission to jack off to that memory <laughs> to ask for their consent no but I you know it what sounds I a little rapey know. vibes to me <laughs> I'm about to. Te- I'm actually listen. I'll be texting them as soon as fucking COVID. My I get a negative test. I forgot. You know, I just much. remembered. I forgot to fucking add cool devices to my letter. <coughs> my letterbox account. <laughs> they have porn on letterbox now. Um, cool devices. Dude, they really are just what? I can't. Add- How is everybody gonna know that I watched a movie? Dude, what is going on here? Everybody's going to think I didn't, like, that I'm not, like, a cool guy who's seen mad movies if I can't. I got to be on it. Yeah. If I can't have cool devices. Yeah, they're not going to know you're a cinephile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn, dude, this bitch straight up has a sword. (laughs) And she's slicing these fuckers up, dude. (laughs) Honestly, she hasn't. She got a finger popped by the robot to check her pussy out, but I haven't seen her get fucked fully yet. So I'm just kind of going through this kind of. I know it's she's a, in a mecha suit. I know it's a cartoon, but I don't like hearing about women being mistreated like this. <laughs> oh, she's back! They got the they got the thing in her pussy again. <laughs> Dude, yeah, Japan is awesome. When was this made? Probably like 1996. Yeah, actually, I'm looking say, at it right now. Oh no, they got they got things tied up to her fucking tits now too. They she's got the whole thing going. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, I see the cock. Her pussy, <laughs> <laughs> her clit is growing into a cock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, she's got the power. She's got huge tits. They're making her tits bigger, and they're making her clit. Kind of honestly, not that big of a dick. Honestly, it's kind of like a regular size cock. You know, it's it's. I'm reading. Uh, I'm reading. 
Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. The cock is turning huge. I'm sure. Oh, it and is. it's coming now. I'm sure it is. You know what? It didn't turn huge. It just busted. I'm re I'm reading a Japanese person's description of this, and it's much better. Uh, Maya is like a combination between She-Ra and Prince Adam, where she starts out as a plain and simple young woman who might still be in her late school years and just in time ready for graduate. She eventually becomes <laughs> the most powerful woman in the universe. Another, <laughs> She's Hillary Clinton. Dude. Right. Another pun, LMAO, which I don't maybe a Tom Meyer style pun there. Yeah. When she finds that mysterious sword she pulled out after getting herself sucked in by a magical portal inside the bad guy's castle beats me why the heck it would be locked inside, awaiting... For the hero, while she was held prisoner there, this is one of those scenes that will continue to confuse us for years to come, mm. since we won't know anyways. Here are some it's of the so screenshots true. of Maya's cool transformation. Does her look scream She-Ra or He-Man or all of our fans out here? Oh, now they got her They got her cock in like a little... I'm, I'm on episodes. This is a two-parter. They have her cock in like a little plastic or a little glass device, I think, sh shielding it. Interesting. And they've turned her nipples an even brighter shade of pink. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, okay. Now a woman is fucking her. Maybe that's why they gave her a cock. You're crazy. This, a woman. This shit was banned oh. in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> this is what drove Jordan Peterson insane. <laughs> She's like, I've been waiting for years for the eighth installment of the Cool Devices Where? episode. What happens to Maya's pussy and cool devices? <laughs> this is my understanding of the yin yang symbol. <laughs> this is Dow. This is the third way is to be raped. Guys, you're gonna to want to go to Patreon. Oh wait, her pussy, her cock disappeared. Patreon.com slash come to understand the context of that riff. Yep. Yep. For oh now she's eating now the there's an evil red haired lady eating Maya's pussy. Damn. And she seems to really be enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Oh, now we're so I don't get what's going on. I think they're they're they kind of share a cock, or they kind of one can take the cock off the other one. It's kind of like an uh, it's kind of like a, or maybe when she's in distress, her cock appears because right now she's now she's just getting finger popped and getting her pussy eaten. It's crazy. And no cock. This is just what, this is just Japanese schizophrenia. Yeah, this is what uh, the if you're like a sexless Japanese guy and you develop schizophrenia. This is what your mind produces. <laughs> I'll never forget when we went into that. I just saw a story that said DVD. Oh, oh dude. Her, her, her clit is turning into a cock. This is awesome. While she's getting her clit. So basically, the evil lady is pulling a cock out of her clit. Wow, very interesting stuff. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to... Oh, that's all right. Oh, no, no. I'll, I'll just say... When we, you know, interruption happens sometimes. It's not bad. It, you know. Well, you know, if there's a reason, if you're know, if you watching mm -hmm. something, if it's time sensitive... It's not the end of the world. You know? Yeah, it's also, too, uh, if like uh, you uh -huh. do it once in a blue moon and it's not every single day, constantly, <laughs> always. <laughs> Dude, now, now she's getting jacked off and getting her tits rubbed by a woman. <laughs> this is the best show I've ever seen in my life. Well, I wish... <laughs> I wish girls were like that in real life, huh? I know. I wish girls had awesome tits and big juicy cocks. It sounds like the perfect woman. Oh, oh, Best of both worlds. Oh, oh. Complete anime DVD cool devices one through eleven <laughs> on a, on Amazon. You love box sets. A hundred and ninety nine dollars. One ninety nine. That's a fucking. That's a, that's a steal. In, in these in this economy, you fa you take away factor for inflation. This would have been twenty bucks last year. So this is. A, this is well, folks. This is Mullen's deal of the century. Mm -hmm. exactly. So check it out. You're going to you're going to want to make sure you first subscribe to patreoncom slash town. Sign up for that, yep. and then with your leftover two hundred dollars, go to Amazon and pick up the complete anime DVD, Cool Devices, Operations One Through Exactly. 11.